Hello and welcome to another 60 seconds on App Store optimization. Today's topic is App Annie, another ASO tool. Here are some of the things that we use App Annie for. First, we use it to see a preview of an app, whether it's our app, our client's app, or a competitor's app. We can see screenshots, the title, description, and other pertinent information for that particular app. App Annie is also great at showing ranking, whether it's for category or keywords. In this instance, we're seeing AnyDo's Google Play app listing uh, changing over time for the category rank, which is U.S. productivity. You can change the time period and even go back 365 days or all time for category ranks. Here we can see AnyDo's iOS app listing. This is useful for doing competitive research to see how other apps, uh, peer apps, competitor apps, uh, target apps are changing over time. You can see that AnyDo's rank is declining over time. You can also use App Annie to do a lot of keyword research. So App Annie lets you enter in up to 30 keywords and see how any app, again, whether it's your app, a competitor's app, or any other app, is doing over time. We can see that for ed for iOS, AnyDo's keyword rank for to-do has fallen two spots over the last 90 days. If we were tracking a keyword that we really cared about and wanted to know how uh, this app is doing for it, we can add it in here. And then we can see that app's ranking over time. We also like to use App Annie to see user reviews. You can see up to 200 reviews in one particular screen over a specific date, a country, and favorable or critical reviews. This also helps when doing research to see how reviews are changing over time and what people are saying about apps. Lastly, App Annie is really useful for doing keyword research. You can type in a keyword and see what apps return for that keyword. This gives you a sense of competitiveness for that particular term. Um, and App Annie now includes is the keyword in the title. Remember that key, the title is one of the places that an app can use to rank for keywords, and it's actually one of the strongest places. You can see the last update and that app star rating over time, all time. This is a recent new development for App Annie. They used to show both iPhone, iPad, and Google Play listings in the same view, and now they've broken it out into two spaces. If you pay for App Annie's premium tier, then you can get an estimate of an app's overall downloads and revenue in the same keyword research view. That's all for today.